In this specific video, you're going to learn how to install WordPress manually via FTP. In order for this to work, you're going to need the following. Your web host needs to support PHP and MySQL. You need the ability to create MySQL databases. You're going to need to have some sort of FTP software. In this case, I recommend FileZilla. And you're going to need to have your web hosting username and password and the WordPress files. So I'm going to show you how to get all of this stuff and use it to install WordPress manually. Now, first things first, let's talk about the FileZilla FTP program, which is basically a software that will allow you to upload files from your computer to your website. So if you go to google.com and type in FileZilla, that's F-I-L-E-Z-I-L-L-A, click on FileZilla-project.org. Now, I like FileZilla because it's easy to use, it's free, plus, if you click on download FileZilla client, you will notice that it is compatible with Windows, Linux, and Macs. So go ahead and install it because we're going to be using it in the next few minutes. Next, you're going to need to have the WordPress files. To do that, simply go to wordpress.org and at the very top, you're going to see download WordPress. Simply download WordPress to your computer. And then next, you need to access your web hosting panel. So that's usually if you're using cPanel or any other web hosting panel, simply log into it. In this case, I'm using cPanel. And in order for this to work, you're going to need to have something that says MySQL databases wizard or MySQL databases. Now we're ready to go and begin the installation process of WordPress. So what I want you to do now is to locate the WordPress files. At this point, you're going to need to unzip the WordPress installation zip file. And if you click on right click, click on open with Windows Explorer or any other unzipping program that you might have. In this case, I've already unzipped the file. And if we click on the folder here, we're going to see the installation files that run the WordPress platform here. So now what I need to do is simply upload these files. So I'm going to select all these files and then I'm going to go to FTP, the FileZilla program, and simply enter your host, which is normally FTP.yourdomain.com, whatever that might be and enter your username and password, which is normally the same as the cPanel access or whatever web hosting username that you might have. So go ahead and enter this information and click on quick connect. At this point, you're going to need to locate the folder that holds your main website files. Now, in this case, most of you, you're going to have public underscore HTML. Some of you will have HTTP docs and so forth. So if you don't know, you're going to need to see your web hosting company about that. At this point, all you need to do is select all the files, installation files of WordPress on your computer and drag and drop it into this empty folder here. Now, as this is uploading files, I'm going to go ahead and create the MySQL databases. To do that, all you need to do is simply click on MySQL databases or the wizard. I prefer the wizard because it's an easier route to create your MySQL databases. At this moment, you need to create a database and you can name it whatever you want it to be. Now you have to create a user. 
and we're going to create a password by clicking password generator and you need to make sure that you save this to a safe location so the database name was profits underscore DB and the user was profits underscore user and my password is here and click on use password and click on create user and then click on all privileges click on next step and there we go so make sure that you store this information in a safe location because you're gonna need it later on alright so now as we can see here the files have been uploaded and we can start the installation process so if you go to the top here and click on the domain.com slash WP dash admin slash install dot PHP. So if you go to this page here, it's going to start the installation process. So what we need to do is create a configuration file. So click on the button here and we already have all this information so we can click on let's go now we can enter the database name which is profits underscore db in this case the username which is profits underscore user and then the password now for most of you the database host is going to be localhost and you can use any table prefix you want to. In this case, we're going to leave everything else as it is and click on submit. Now what we need to do is copy this information here in this box here and go back to your computer. And for most of you, you're going to see wp-config- sample so what I want you to do is simply rename this file to wp-config.php right click it open with notepad or wordpad select all and delete it we're basically going to copy everything in this box over to here we're going to save it and we're going to simply drag this into here. So upload the file. And then we can click on run install. So great, we're almost done. All you have to do now is simply enter the site title for your WordPress blog. Your username your password, your email, and click on install. Great, now we can go ahead and log in. And that's it. Congratulations, you have completed the installation of your WordPress site.